welcome to the channel. I'm here with Shin, and we did a little putter shaft swap a little while, well, yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday, yeah, yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have a look at what's in Shin's bag. Start with the wedges. Wedges? Right, wedges, what have we got, what have we got? So, got the Titleist SM8 in a 48, 54 and 60 degree. Nice. Um, got them end of last year, of well, 2020 then. Yeah. Five years quickly. But, yeah, Lots. Love them. 48, 54, 60, yep. and you were saying before where you thought you went 48 because you couldn't get your 52 close enough to your pitching wedge. Yep. Um, and you had the RTX 3 wedges before. A little upgrade to the Vokies. Yes. Nice. So these are the Vokies SM8 chrome heads, 48, 54, and 60. Very nice set of clubs. I can't believe you haven't brought them to me to customize. Yeah, that's true, actually. What's wrong with you? Might do in the future. <laughs> ah, KBS. Cool. Are they standard chops or custom uh, order? Custom. Custom order. Same from the RTX things. Okay. Like KBS Tour. I've had them in my hands at some point because I've got my stickers on. Yeah. What have I done to them? Um, you lengthened, or actually cut down, I think, the 48 because it was... Ah, uh, uh, okay, yeah. It was the same length as my wedge, literally. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'd, that would have been an MOT, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, so the... I matched up the lengths on the irons to match lengths on these so it didn't spike in length just so we get more continuity. But yeah, they're looking pretty good. So custom order on the um, shafts, which I think is a good thing to do. Was there a difference in price? No. No, no difference in price, but just get shafts that blend better with your irons and match your irons up. Nice, tidy. In the eyes of what's in the bag, what glove do you use? Uh, Foot Droid players, Titus players. With the logo on? Um, yeah, that's. I just got a bit scammed out of that one. <laughs> you got scammed out of it? I was, I was in a rush playing at a competition, didn't have a glove, and that was the only one they had. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, clubs wise, yes. we've got the Shrixen irons. What's your longest iron? Uh, four. Four iron, cool. So, four to pitch, and the Shrixen's here. It's a lovely looking club. It is. It's a very nice club. Like that club sitting down behind the ball. I like that nice straight leading edge. I like this sort of straight line here. It's this back of that one. Yeah. Um, so that's the Z785s. Yes. Z785s, a little bit of cavity. Do you know what the cavity does to the ball? I like better turf interaction. A little bit, yeah. So turf interaction is here yeah. on the sole. When we've got cavity on the bottom here, if you imagine the golf ball striking around about there where your marks are, ball strikes here, but if there's weight underneath that golf ball, it helps the ball pop up. So when someone's got a blade that's got less weight here and the weight higher up, that will launch the ball a little bit lower, yeah. in theory. So they're quite a nice low profile club still, yeah. but when you hit the ball off centre, you've still got a bit of mass yeah. just to just give you a bit of forgiveness, and then they sit behind the ball and look like a blade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you've got that little bit of forgiveness and and playability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, what's your next club up? Uh, hybrid. Three hybrid. Three hybrid. Talk us through the club. Strixon ZH65. Nice. Picked it up from American Golf, pre owned area for 40 quid. Beautiful. Um, Miyazaki 70 gram stiff flex shaft. Nice. Um, I usually only put it in the bag when I'm back down here. Ah, uh, okay. Softer. Yeah. Um, when I'm playing up in Scotland, I have the Tailgate P790 2 iron. Um, okay. That goes in there and I love it. It's just like a stinging machine. Yeah, you know, on a windy course. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You haven't got that with you today, have you? No, I don't, no. Oh, I didn't come on, man. Well, you no. didn't know we were doing this. No, no, so, that's true. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> 40 quid, that was a bargain. 40 quid, absolute winner. Right, next club, what have you got? Ooh. Ooh, I know this one. I ordered it for you. Yeah, and ZX, version 6. Oh, have a look it's closer. been working a beast. Oh, so. it, it is a beast of a club. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm looking forward to actually uh, potentially putting one of these in my bag. and ZX, Oban Devotion. What an absolute weapon. And then the grip goes with it nicely as well. Look at this thing, like how it sits behind the ball. A little sky mark. 
Oh, it was Sky Mark. I'm... Oh, who did that? Who did that? That was me. Oh. That was me, Scott. Strike marks are pretty good, actually. Yeah. Right, Mizuno STZ. This is a good looking bit of kit. Carbon fiber around here. This looks nice. And Mizuno have got their game in in woods in the last couple of years. Because they've always been a bit of a, oh yeah, Mizuno have got a lovely set of irons, lovely set of wedges and ignore their woods. Yeah. But the, these are particularly good. And looking at reviews from the other guys, they're decent. So, Mizuno STZ driver with not too many face marks, actually. <laughs> How long have you had it? Um, oh, okay. Relatively new. Yeah, literally just before I went off to uni. Good looking bit of kit. Shaft wise, what loft wise have we got? We've got it on upright, nine and a half upright. Three degrees upright. Chin's very tall. Shaft wise, Diamond Blue 70 Stiff Flex. And the blue grip, same as the others. The last what's in the bag, we've got Ping Hepler. Okay, you had the standard shaft in there that's, um, that's adjustable, so you can adjust the length. Yeah. But because you're very tall, you had it longer, and it had a bit of bend in it, and when you were hitting long putts, it had too much, you, you could almost hear it click. Yeah. Now we've put in a proper one-step tall shaft in there, it's got that little step in there. It feels more solid. The feedback is unbelievable, yeah. I love these grips as well. Yeah, the grips are very nice. Yeah. Which one's that? It's a Lampkin Sink Fit Straight. A nice flat surface on the top there. It's got a little bit of a curve at the top, which is quite nice, so your left hand sort of just sits with a yeah, nice little trick. Cool. Hopefully you enjoyed that, if not, look at another video. I don't know how to sign these videos <laughs> off still. While I've got 190 subscribers, I'm still working it out. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's news.